This is the Dills Atlantic Giant that I grew last growing season. Not much of a giant now, is it? But it is a pumpkin. And as far as pumpkins go, a large one. I had it in my uh, cold room and intending to process it uh, into pumpkin puree. And there was always something else coming up. And I was in there a couple of days ago checking. And I looked at the pumpkin and I clicked on it and my finger went right through. So you can see the top end is rotting. I have my knives there. I'll decide which find which one's the best one to cut this open with now. Right now I'm gonna cut it open, take out all the seeds, and cut the good part up into pieces, put it in the bowl, and maybe tomorrow I'll uh, make a puree out of it. Now that's an ugly looking mess. Gotta get a bucket to throw the rotten stuff in. Looks like it only might be that top section though. The rest of it might be good still. And I picked that apart to get seeds out of it. year but of course if I get a lot of viable seed for Dill's Atlantic Giant then the plan is to uh, get a bunch of these growing and plant them up on uh, section 3 on the slope that goes down toward the bog and did I say it's the reason why I took out the a uh, filleting knife because it's a thin knife and I can cut curves with it. Yeah, it's just this uh, top part it looks like. I'll take this long knife and I'm going to just cut down through it.
So apart from up around the top there, it all looks like uh, it's good. I'm going to cut that up now and uh, show you what I got when I'm done. So there it is cut up, quite a bit of pumpkin for one person. And this is the inside the seed cavity, you gotta go through all that now and pick the seeds out of it. So if you had this pumpkin now, what would you do with it? Leave a comment in the comment section below and I will go through them one at a time and make a recording of each uh, suggestion. Now it's been a long time since I dealt with pumpkins so each step of this way is all new again. They look and feel nice and plump and solid. I'm not thinking of any better way of doing this than the way I'm doing it. So uh, if you guys know of a better way of getting the seeds out of the pulp here, you can let me know. Once again, down in the comments section. I got some that are no good. This one here, see he's white and he's you spin pinching and he's only half as thick as the other ones. That's no good. That's the seeds I have. It's a lot of seeds, I'm going to put them in to dry now. And like I said, almost every one of them are, or most of them are nice and plump and firm. So that's good. And that's my pile of pumpkin that I have to turn into puree and bottle it uh, so that I can use it at a later date. That's the first step in pumpkin preparation. The next video I'll be baking it and making puree, putting it into bottles and water bath canning it. I'll see you then.